Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the expert talk series of product management of ISBR Business School. We have with us a great guest today, Mr. Varun uh, Barua. He is uh, currently uh, studying in IIM Ahmedabad and is also working as a product manager at D Hat. Uh, he has also worked with uh, Razor Think as a product manager in his earlier stint. Uh, his specialities include a product development, a product management, a product uh, marketing and strategy, among others. We welcome you, sir. Pleasure to have you, Avinab. Yeah, thank you, sir. So, sir, uh, to start with, you know, as you're pursuing your, you know, uh, your executive MBA, uh, you know, at IIM Ahmedabad, and plus, you, you know, you work as a product manager. So, uh, what subjects or like, uh, what areas do you like in product management? If you could throw some light on that. Yeah. So currently, I'm pursuing my working executive MBA. I'm going to complete in, in September. So if you talk about the discipline, right? So PM happened to me by luck, uh, I'd say. And since then, I kind of got into this discipline and, and I really enjoyed what I do. Right? There are two aspects to it, which I, which you'll say uh, is uh, makes makes my life very interesting. First is, if you look at the outer side of it, we are solving problems for a user in mind. And we look at all aspects of the problem. And when you see the problem is solved for the user and user gets value out of it, you get satisfied. That's a dopamine effect you get, right? Second, as a as an, as an uh, day in life or walk that you do, uh, as a PM, there's no set uh, rules or set uh, processes in place. And right? you have to, if you interact with multiple stakeholders, working with designers, uh, developers, uh, the QA guys, uh, to the sales, marketing, and, and, and executive, right? So that, that gives you a lot of uh, excitement uh, working cross-functionally across different, different spectrum of the entire, uh, entire business or, or, or organization. So, so like I said, the impact or value you see when your end user uh, gets a value and appreciates for the work you do. And, and, and secondly, from an internal point of view, when you get to work with different set of people, get different perspectives and got to learn on a daily basis. Okay, so that's, uh, you know, so that's great. Um, so, sir, you know, uh, talking about your previous uh, work X, right, with, you know, with, uh, with a razor thing. So, uh, you know, so my question to you is, we all use various, you know, uh, products every day, right? Uh, what goes behind uh, strategizing for a product before it's out in the market? It's a very, very broad, difficult question. I mean, I, would all, all, I could only give uh, the, my perspective of how it should be, right? So any product, if you see uh, the great products, uh, be it in technology space, be it in manufacturing space, consumer space, and so on and so forth, they are, they are targeted towards a customer, they are targeted to a user, and it's solving a core pain point for the user, right? So first is like identifying the right users, uh, identifying the right problems for the users, and identifying how you can solve those problems, right? Now, this is one aspect that is, that is core to approaching building a product, right? Now, after that, you have to figure out what is your market segment, right? Uh, is the product made for a niche audience? Uh, the second, how you figure out how do you go about solving those and what value you can, you can create, right? Who are going to be early adopters? And, and lastly, I think you have to figure out your unit you know, economics, right? Uh, as Point, you have to kind of make money out of it, right? So, so, so for the user, and how are you going to reach, reach to the user, like your go to market, and finally, how are you going to make money or generate revenue or profit from that? Okay, sir, great to know. So, coming to the next question, so uh, there is a myth that the uh, product management is mean for engineers. So, we, we want to know is that true? And uh, how difficult is it for someone with a non engineering background to pursue a career in product management? I mean, uh, this myth is myth, I wouldn't say it's false, but if you see a lot of PM, myself being from a, from a, from a technical background, right? Uh, and, and most of the PM hires or PM uh, folks who have joined recently are mostly no technical companies. And, and in those companies, you expect uh, the person who joins the engineers and developers, right? But but uh, but I have met non-technical background, right? So basically, at a core of it, I would say having a technical understanding in a current space is is important, uh, uh, but but 
it's not the only way that you have to have a technical space to get into PM, right? Like because a lot of the lot of the companies uh, look at people who can think laterally, who can uh, go through first principle thinking, who can solve problems, uh, and who can kind of keep in mind the user and 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 keep in mind the scale, right? So, but but now in going forward, since most of the companies, if you see, a lot of the recent companies are also adopting technology, right? Uh, but the, the, so I mean to get. A whole lot of technology, how it works, I think will be will, be, will always be advantageous for anyone who wants to go into PM space. That's great, sir. Um, so, sir, you know, uh, there is this one thing which has been noticed in the country that is, you know, uh, there are some you know specific uh, sets of skills which are missing in the country due to which we have you know less amount of uh, you know uh, managers, right? Uh, like you know, uh, less amount of product managers. So, uh, you know, so uh, what are the skill gaps that you find, you know, uh, like amongst the students, uh, wherein you know they are, you know, they, you know they're not able to get into this line. Like, you know, there is some sort of a gap. So, you know, uh, what is the gap that you identify, and and you know, uh, uh, how do you suggest that we fill in those gaps? See, I mean, I will not say the gap. I think uh, in initial days when I landed into this this PM field. Uh, when I uh, meet up with my friends and when we get interactions, like uh, most of the people will be uh, in, in the development space or in the design space and so on and so forth. And, and for them, uh, the the role definition is very, very uh, what do you call, very easy to understand. Like like if you say I'm a developer, I'm a designer, uh, I'm a QA, or uh, or I am I am a marketing operations is very. But if you have to say PM product management, you you people will kind of ask you a counter question to know what you exactly do, right? So the thing is, the, the, the scope of this role is again abstract, right? Now, to kind of align budding PMs or uh, people who, who, go, who kind of do well or get into this PM space is again a, again a bigger task, right? So I'll say the biggest thing is like awareness, right? I think awareness that a PM is a discipline where people can think seriously about and second, I think uh, a lot of PM folks are kind of, kind of if you see a trend, uh, people who are, who've done their BTEC or, and, and done their MBA, then they move to PM, right? And that's not true. I mean, a lot of uh, people who are from non-BTEC background or even only BTEC background and non-post, uh, uh, what do you call MBA or, or, or post-grade can, can move into PM. It's just that you have to have that sense of uh, the business or get said that sense of the users, the problems, the scale and so on and so forth. Right? I would not say the gap, it's just the awareness and, and then the alignment of the focus. And also, I think institutions have a role to play. I mean, in, in, if you talk about India and US, I think in India in the last four or five years, I think there are some, uh, uh, what do you call, institutes who are focusing only on PM, who bring in industry leaders, who bring in some disciplines of strategy, marketing, uh, and so on and so forth. In, in, into kind of molding or guiding students towards their route, right? But in the US, if you see in the US, I think it's been, uh, it has been in there for, uh, for, for more number of years, right? And also in the US, uh, if you see there are a lot of companies who are in Silicon Valley who are, who are more product focused, right? In India also, I will not say they're not, but I think the, the, the focus of that discipline and the kind of the, 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 the understanding and awareness is more uh, compared to uh, India, but but this is this is, this is kind of improve, improving, and a lot of people's I see a lot of engineers uh, are, are are taking this discipline and kind of starting start working towards that. Okay, great, sir. So next, we want to know about from you that uh, how does product management work with executive leaders? That's a that's that's a. That's, that's a part of the entire entire uh, role itself, right? Uh, I mean, you directly, indirectly have to interact with executive team, right? If you are working in a startup, you'll be directly reporting or working closely with the founding team. If you are working in a big company, you'll be reporting to one or two level of founding. Because the thing is, uh, at the end, the company's vision uh, is linked to the product roadmap, right? And, and, and as a PM has to solve problems, at, this look, at the same time, you have to look at your broader picture and think of, think of what are the next things you want to go, right? So, so when you have to think of next things you want to do for your product, you have to look at the, you have to look at from the other aspect as well, right? You have to look at uh, uh, what the uh, vision of the company, what does the executive think, think about, right? And when you, when you kind of rebuild something out, you have to again uh, demonstrate it to your executive team, right? So your executive team 
uh, interactions because metrics, everything is driven from there, right? So interactions is, 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 is going to happen on a frequent basis. Okay, great. So, uh, sir, we also want to know that uh, can a fresh graduate pursue PM as a career choice or what are the inherent challenges, challenges in it? So, Sweta, I think directly PM, I would say a fresher could, could be part of the product team. I mean, as an APM or probably in some companies might be PM. But I would say uh, it is possible, but I would say that person has to be in that that uh, company and understand uh, the, how the business works, uh, who are the users, uh, what they're trying to solve, and so on and so forth. Right? It, directly landing in the PM will be a little, little difficult because you have to know different aspects of the entire, how the business functions, uh, uh, what are different aspects of uh, running a business, and so on and so forth. But, but, but APM, I've seen a lot of professors uh, who are typically from uh, Non non postgraduate discipline have have moved into APM roles, and, and typically, if you see a lot of uh, MBA folks can go into PM because they get a sense of strategy, marketing, business through their uh, uh, course model, right? So it becomes very easier for them to uh, understand and adapt to it, right? I'll say uh, as someone who has from a commerce background, who has seen how in the family business, who has seen how how what they call businesses work, or, or who is who, who has done some amount of uh, entrepreneurship for them is is easier for them to kind of get into this space, but it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time that uh, you can definitely get into a, a PM. Okay, great. So knowing so much from you, so we also want to know some more things from you. So could you just uh, throw some light on the popular roles uh, for the freshers and as well as someone with experience? Uh, in Product management space. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I would say like like uh, uh, for freshers, I have seen a lot of a uh, lot of people, lot of freshers joining as freshers. I I mean freshers here uh, who are non MBA, right? Who are just a undergrad. I've seen a lot of people joining into APM roles, right? Uh, from MBA freshers, they have joined into PM, right? Who has tech background, non tech background, who has done an MBA, they have joined to PM, right? And for experience, I think uh, senior PM, VP, these are all the positions that are that are that are really available uh, across across industries and domain. It was great, sir. Uh, you know, so sir, we have come to the end of the interview. Uh, so before we end it, uh, like you know, so we'd like to ask you whether you have a small message for all the aspiring uh, you know students who want to get into you know this product management course. Any like any small message you want to give them? Yes. Yes. So I, I would say like uh, the, the question which you ask about the uh, PM from PM uh, who come from engineers and not tech background, right? So, so like I said, uh, in future, in the next five to 10 years, data is going to be the new oil. Like people are saying that right? data is going to kind of this thing, right? And most of the companies will have to adopt the technology or they will die, right? A lot of traditional companies. So, so I would say first thing, a PM who is not a, 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 a fresher or a budding PM who wants to get into PM space, you should be very comfortable here. You should be very comfortable with how technology works, right? Not not knowing, not going to the level of how a code or, or a system level design works, but at least how technology works, right? Uh, think about if you're using a product, right? A WhatsApp or, or, or any of your e-commerce uh, applications. I just think, try to think uh, what are the things, what is the thought process that has gone behind in solving it, right? What is what WhatsApp trying to solve for you, right? If you don't have WhatsApp, how are you doing your uh, uh, messaging or communication without WhatsApp, right? And what has gone into doing it? So first of all, try to give you familiar with a lot of technology technology tools, uh, I mean, and, and see what value is trying to create. Second, try to read a lot of books about, uh, about uh, this strategy, the business, about uh, your critical thinking, uh, about the first principle thinking, about how do you solve problems, right? And and third, keep looking out. I mean, so so as, as a fresher, I think who who don't have non tech non PM PM experience, uh, I mean, it's easy to get into a startup, right? If you are passionate about, if you have if you have done some project work, uh, like like let's say you in your project, if you in a college, if you've done three months of internship or something 
uh, working on a product and try to figure out the different aspects of it, like a competitive analysis, the market understanding, the kind of problem they're trying to solve, and what should what is a flop drawback in the kind of product, right? Right. So if you kind of show that kind of uh, what you call interest or 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 kind of work behind thought process behind, it becomes easier for an uh, a higher to to take you in, right? So I would say people who want to go into PM first get familiar with a lot of technology uh, products, understand what a value they're to create, read a lot of books, uh, be be at uh, at par with the te cutting edge technology, and and fifth, last, most importantly, during your college time, try to try to do some kind of a project work, like uh, either you you collaborate with the industry or take up some some of the existing problems and try to solve how you can do it, and all of these elements will help you in. And and lastly, don't hesitate to approach, right? A Approach like you approach me, like approach people who are there in the company and different, and then try to see if there's openings and kind kind of get some understanding of how it works and kind of go there, right? So this is the this is a piece, small piece of advice uh, from mine who uh, for people who want to go into product management. But I would like to say that once people who are really passionate to do it, you'll love love uh, being in the space and and kind of uh, building great products for for the users. That was a really an eye opener, sir. I am sure that uh, you know the viewers of this particular episode, uh, you know, would really take away something, and you know they would uh, for sure get deep into product management after this video. We thank you for joining us, so thank you for taking out time for a busy schedule, right? Um, uh, and, and 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 you know, so we you know we are uh, we are very happy that you know we could uh, you know we could host you for an interview. Thanks a lot. It's been a pleasure, Avinash. Thank you.